Hi, dear. Ah, okay, this is the, uh, the third session. Uh, so let's continue. Huh? If you face any difficulty, please stop me. Huh? So th this is, uh, we are going to revise again about um, the queue. Uh, we will go uh, to check again uh, about the linear queue, and then we will continue about, um, we will continue explaining the circular queue. Uh, previously, we already have created uh, a, uh, a queue code um, that works for the linear part. And um, we also uh, created uh, some of the code that is using that is being used for the circular queue. Okay, so let us check again uh, before we uh, go into deep details of the circular queue. So uh, the linear queue uh, actually uh, it, it looks like this, um, like with what we are seeing in the screen, but totally we depend on the position of the rear uh, pointer here to check if the queue is totally full or not. Okay, and uh, we never we never check anything about the queue length. So uh, to our code, when the when the rear pointer is pointing to the end end index here, so it means that uh, the queue is totally full. Okay. Uh, so we already know we, with the queue, when you are adding something, you're adding uh, using the rare pointer. So the rare pointer is pointing to the place where you can add uh, a more element to the queue. Um, and the front pointer is pointing actually to the start of the queue where we can uh, pop up or in queue uh, or dequeue parts. So if we want to remove something, we remove it uh, uh, from from the front here, and um, so the front uh, the front pointer should be always pointing to the beginning or the start of the queue. So if we remove, for example, the element at index zero, so the front pointer will be pointing to uh, that position. So it will shift to point that position. Okay, but um, but again in the uh, rare in the circ in the linear queue, sorry, uh, we will not be able to use that space uh, actually because uh, uh, again, the code or, or, or the algorithm for the linear queue depends on the place where the rare pointer is. Okay, so yes, we already remove some elements here or, or, or already dequeue it, but uh, the rear pointer does not does not move its position. It's still pointing to the end here, so it will always show us that the queue is full. Okay, so even if we remove another element here like that, and uh, this this element uh, is no longer pointed by the front pointer, also uh, our code will still tell us that uh, the queue is totally full. Okay, so but then this is not uh, this is not an efficient uh, thing actually. So we, 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 we try to find uh, an efficient way to use the queue, okay? So the queue typically is an array and we have uh, two pointers, okay? And then we want to uh, maximize the uses of the limited array, the limited spaces in the, limit, in the array. So to do that, uh, they implemented um, uh, the, the algorithm for the cir circular queue. And with the circ circular queue, actually, you no need to uh, depend on the position of the rare pointer uh, anymore. Okay, so you have uh, we have a we have to use um, variables called uh, queue lens, and that queue lens actually it count how many elements is still in the queue. Okay, and based on that, we decide if we are able to insert. Uh, uh, more elements or no? So, so we always have a queue, um, a queue uh, lens, and then we always check it uh, if it is um, if it is um, uh, if it is the same size of the uh, array or not. Okay. So typically, let's let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look here. No. Okay. Let me remove, please. Uh, allow me here.
Okay, so with a with a circular queue, as as we can see here, or well, let's have a look first at the how the um, uh, the circular queue actually uh, implements this uh, this pointer. Mm -hmm. Or let us let us try to to look here first before we choose the code. Um, I have another image that I'm going to use, so I'm not going to use. Um, um, and that code here, but uh, so okay. Uh, the circular queue is actually um, uh, it have a method of uh, moving moving the rare pointer to point to empty places, um, even in the front part of of the array. So so as we said, the front pointer is the one that is always pointing to the start of our queue. And uh, this is where we always dequeue uh, elements from the queue. And the rare pointer is the one that uh, is pointing to the place where we can always add new elements to the queue, okay? So uh, before we are always stuck here towards the end of, of the array, but now, uh, with a circular algorithm, no, we are able to point to um, even the start of of the uh, of the array, and our algorithm is actually become smarter. Okay, it is able to use uh, uh, spaces or em empty spaces or empty places uh, that can be inserted with new elements uh, in the queue. Okay, so let now let us have a look at the implementation actually. So let me stop here and uh, let me share another image. So, okay, can you see my screen? Okay, so do you have any questions so far? Uh, should I slow down a bit? Or is is okay? Okay, that's good. Okay, so you you can slow me down if you want. Okay. Okay. So here I actually um, uh, collected the code for um, uh, for for everything. So for linear queue and for circular queue, so that we are able to see both of them at the same time. And also, um, also we have a look here. If you can see. Um, to, to to have a look about uh, uh, to have a look at the circular queue how it looks like and also to the linear queue okay so uh, yeah uh, let's have a look at how we actually come up with the implementation that allow us to uh, to use the array efficiently so again here we are using um, a queue lens. So we, we make a new variable that we are able to use in the circular queue. This is a code for the circular queue. You see here, we never have uh, anything related to the queue lens. Um, we always depend on the tail pointer to check if the, if the, if the queue is full or not, okay? So uh, 10 is actually the size of, of the array, of our array. And uh, this if statement will always um, uh, tell us that the queue is full if um, if if we if the tail pointer is always pointing to uh, towards um, the end of the array, okay. But here now the situation is different. So the Q lens now it is a variable that is always changing. So whenever we add anything to the Q, we will add to the Q lens. So we will start with the Q lens which is uh, zero, and then we will start adding to that Q lens. And based on the Q lens we will see um, where, uh, how, how, how is, is, is our, um, uh, how is the empty spaces, uh, if there is empty spaces even in the queue or not, okay? So that is our, our um, how to say, our measurement, uh, or, or our, how to say, it is our thermometer uh, that can tell us um, if we are able to insert or no, or it's full, okay? So here, so you see the if statement here that we implemented. So the queue lens will always carry the length of the um, of the array, 
and the Q length here start with zero. Uh, if we add, then we will increment that. And then uh, again, the rare pointer also is pointing towards the places um, that we are going to insert uh, into the array. So, so uh, where are we going to insert the new item? It's, uh, this is the responsibility of the rare pointer, okay? So again, here, uh, the smart path that will move the rare pointer to, to point to empty spaces in the, in the array, uh, that, is, uh, that, is, that is this if statement. So, okay, now let us see. If the rare pointer is less than the, the length of your Q minus one, okay? Which is, let's say, if the Q is, um, for example, uh, 10 elements like, like here, so it means um, uh, we are talking about elements from zero to nine, right? So it means that if the length of the Q is, uh, is 10, so minus one means that it's become nine. So if the rare pointer is less than nine, okay, then increment the rare pointer plus one. But if it is not, so it, we will make the rare pointer become zero. So that is the part where we, <clears throat> uh, where we are able to shift uh, the rare pointer from pointing always to, to the end here to be pointing to the top, okay? Um, that is in the condition that uh, the, the Q lens tell us that there is spaces for us here. If it is not, there is no spaces, we will never come inside that part and we will tell that the Q is full, okay? So now that is the code. Just now we look at the code for adding elements inside the circular Q, okay? And so many questions come in the exam uh, about the circular queue. So let's let's have a look. So typically in the exam, it will not exactly come the same here. We will see another example uh, later. Or what is the requirement? But we only need to modify it a little bit only. Okay. So now, what about if we want to remove something from the queue? So what were, what are we going to check? So we will check if the queue lens is zero. Okay, if it is zero, this means that the queue is empty. Okay, so if it is not, then we are able to remove something using what? The, the thermometer for us or the pointer that is pointing always to the elements that we can remove is the front pointer. Because again, first in, first out. The queue is first in, first out. The stack is LIFO and the queue is FIFO. First in, first out uh, for the queue. Okay. So first in, first out means that the thing that is pointed by the front pointer will be the one that is first removed, okay? So that item is removed from the queue, okay? So now let's have a look here. So the smart part that is going to handle um, uh, this uh, circular queue part, that is, this part is not found in the linear queue. Uh, so this is the if statement here. So we will check. Again, uh, let's talk about uh, Q that is uh, carry, able to carry 10 elements. So it's from zero to nine. So if the front pointer is, po is equal to nine, so we will tell that the front pointer equal, should be starting to be equal zero. But if it is not, so we will increment it by one. So it means that here, let's have a look here. So if the front pointer reaches here, okay, which is the end, then uh, we should make it point to zero. Okay, we should make it point to zero because whenever we remove something from the uh, from from the queue, we shift. Actually, we shift here the pointer to be plus one, but if it reaches here, at the end of the queue, so it has to point again to zero. So that is the smart part to make it circular, okay? Let me remove here. Okay. Um, 
I would say, uh, yeah, so that's the part. Okay. And yeah, we don't forget that part uh, because we always depend on the Q lens to know if there is empty spaces uh, or how, how big is our empty space. So if we are removing from the Q, it means that we need to subtract from the Q lens to, to compensate for the items that have been taken out from the Q. Okay. So I hope that this is clear. We can um, see something fast um, uh, on the code side, it, see how it runs, how it works. Okay, now can you see my screen? So t tell me, please, do you, I, I didn't hear any comments from you so far. So what do you think? Is it clear? Yeah, okay, yeah. So uh, yeah, if you are even, yeah, I understand. Maybe you have a slight confusion, but uh, give me a second and see with me how we run it here. And we see how I, I have done some print statement, extra print statement, I put it here. So that is the code that we have seen just uh, a while ago. And that's for the cell curve queue. And then I, I do some print statements so that we can try to understand what's happening. And let me comment that uh, part here that we um, tried. Okay, yeah. So, yeah, and let me try also to um, comment the bubble sort and the insertion sort. And let's leave the part for the queue. Let me try to run, see if something is is wrong here. Okay, so actually I created um, uh, some test code uh, where I try to insert an item to the queue. So I add two items and then I, I remove one item. Okay, and then I try to print the queue for um, after removing, uh, um, after inserting and, remo and removing, and see and see how is is uh, Q lens um, uh, doing. So when once we inserting, we're removing um, how it looks like. Okay, so uh, I I started here. So I created a queue here, um, and um, I said that uh, it's a range from zero to ten. So it have uh, elements from zero to nine. And then I said the front pointer is, uh, is uh, pointing to zero. The rear pointing, the rear pointer is minus one. And, um, and uh, the Q, Q lens is, is 10 because uh, that's, that is, uh, that's the, the array size. Okay. And the Q lens is uh, starting with zero. Okay. So I tried to make a full loop here that loops um, 30 times. So I try to insert uh, almost 60 times because for every loop, I, insert, I try to insert two times here and then I remove one time. So let's have a look here, um, especially towards the end. So you see here, um, we have been running without any issues and then we are, we are always printing um, the value of the front pointer, the Q lens here. So if you see the Q lens is increasing here, increasing every time we, we add. So the Q lens is increasing. Um, and then here also the Q lens reach nine. So uh, once it start to reach uh, nine, uh, then you start to see that um, uh, the, Q, the Q is actually full and it cannot, uh, it cannot add more items to the queue anymore. Okay, so um, that's how it should work. That's so it means that our code is actually working correctly. Um, so you see here that the front pointer is pointing to uh, to nine, and the rear point the rear pointer is pointing to to eight. So again, uh, if you if we can remember, uh, so that's actually here we assume that is um yeah let's put it like that 
So here zero, here eight, and here nine. This is our Q, okay? And that's the index site. And here is the elements, the elements of the array. And then we say that the pointer, this is the rare pointer, where the rare pointer is pointing. And this is where the front pointer is pointing. This is a front pointer. Front pointer, sorry. And this is the rare pointer. Okay, so the rare, sorry, uh, actually, uh, let me try to make it slightly clearer. I am not doing it the, the correct way. So that is um, the rare pointer. And that is the front pointer. Okay, so even though the rare pointer here is pointing and not towards, um, okay, not towards the end of the queue, but uh, because the queue length is actually nine, so it means that there is no more space that we can insert. Okay, and the front pointer, uh, because of the insertion and removing insertion and removing, that's why we end up with that situation where the rare pointer is um, is actually less than the front pointer, but actually there is no elements. There is no there is no space for new elements. Okay, that's why we we whenever we try to insert because we make the the range of the for loop that is trying to insert um, is actually uh, thirty. So it means that we have been we will keep trying, keep trying, keep trying to insert. Okay, um, but we will actually fail to do that. Okay. Um, so, yeah, so whenever we try, we will actually fail to insert uh, new new items here in the queue, okay? Yeah. So do you have any questions? Is that clear to you? Okay. So even though even though that is uh, quite ch changing, but it seems that the Q lens. Let's have a look at the Q lens. I, I, I would like to confirm something that is uh, that it is actually this part is working correctly. Um, let me try to remove here. Let me try to move here. This. Let us keep that and try to see actually that the code is, is actually performing working as it's supposed to be. Um, again, that's not clear. Okay, yeah. Let me see then. Okay, so the DQ actually, um, suppose when we DQ, I just want to confirm that uh, this DQ is actually working perfectly because um, it seems that we are actually removing things from the from the array but we're still um, not able to insert new items so I, I just want to confirm that this is uh, actually uh, where it's supposed to be uh, okay so we dq here um, we remove uh, an item here and when we remove um, it's supposed to be um, Front pointer is pointing either to zero. So let's have a look here. Okay. So here the condition is, as we said, okay, this pointing to, to nine and then to eight here. Okay. And then we remove something. We're supposed to remove something. Okay. That's why the front pointer is actually moved from zero. Okay, and the rear pointer now is pointing to, to nine. Um, that's typically because um, we try to insert something. We try to insert something, that's why 
the rear pointer is uh, actually implemented. Okay. Giving a space. So um, that happened when we are uh, making it zero. That is the condition that is happening here. And okay, and then we, we set the Q lens minus one. But it seems, uh, let me check that we are printing the Q lens here. Mm, yeah, I, I think we need to print also the Q lens. Um, we need to print the Q lens also here to just to confirm that actually uh, everything is uh, working as it's supposed to be. So that is, uh, <laughs> okay. So we are printing, we are printing always, um, uh, okay, yeah, we print, we print the front pointer, rear pointer, so rear pointer, okay, yeah. Mm -mm. Okay, so if we print something, maybe we need to, uh, to see, actually, maybe we need to print the item that uh, we are trying to, to add, just to, just for us to, uh, to understand. So maybe also we would like to see that if we uh, print, if we add something to the queue, um, and this is, okay, this is adding. So we add always to the, to the rare. So we would like to see if we add something, we would like to know where, where did we add it or what actually the item that we added. Uh, print, we say print, add it. Item and we say what is the item. Okay, so we try to run again and see. Let's try to run again and see. So I'm sorry, actually, the internet was uh, slightly slower. Um, and then, okay, let's try to run the change that we have done here and try to have a look. Okay, so yeah. So you see here, although, although the item here, um, it, it, so we see the message, yes, and, and, and it is full. And the, we see that, that the Q lens here is, is uh, actually 10. But uh, uh, how to say, so the I, there is an item that is added actually, okay? So now that is, that what we see is inside the in queue, in queue part, okay? So it seems that, okay, once he, once he reach here, so actually it seems that the code was working perfectly because why, uh, the reason for that actually, so um, that we had two, two times, we. We're trying to add uh, to add things to the queue, and once we dequeue, okay. Once we dequeue, so we, where we dequeue the the one we always dequeue uh, when it is something related to the front pointer, um, and that's where we we will see a change here. So this is a front pointer pointing to nine, and then it will become zero because of the if statement that we have seen, and then. Um, and then once we see that, it means that this part have been executed. So once the for loop try to run again and insert, actually it will insert an item. It will be able to insert an item, okay? And the same goes here, okay? The same goes here. So, and of course, because we removed only one item, we try to, in and the, the array is already full. So we are only having one empty space that we are able to, to have. That's why, um, so you see the Q lens here is, is 10. And then uh, that's why on the second time you try to insert, you will see this message. But then um, once we DQ, we see the front pointer moves, change the values here and the Q lens become nine. So this means that there is one space uh, ready. And then we are able to insert. The second time we, we try to insert, we will face a problem uh, because we only removed one item from the queue. So there's only one space remaining. So we're only able to insert one time. So it will keep happening like that. Uh, remove one and able to insert an, um, an one new item and that's it. So that is in summary how the circular queue should work. 
And uh, I would say that you should try always to, to write a code to, to test actually your, your, if, if your implementation works or not. Uh, and uh, always, always uh, uh, put uh, print statements to troubleshoot your code to see what is working, what's not working, and try to analyze and look here. So if we don't put a, a print statement, we'll never be able to understand. Okay, so, um, okay, is it is everything clear to you? Uh, am I fast? Should I slow down? What do you think? Okay, that's great, yeah. So, uh, so just don't forget, you can slow me down at any time, okay? I appreciate that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Okay. So we will end the session here. Okay.